All right, let's start. Thank you all for coming. I know it's coming to the end of the day and third day of the conference. How many of you have been on the third day of the conference? Wow. All right. Uh, before we start, I just want to give you a, one of the things is I've changed the title of the talk. You see, outside or on the publication, the uh, convention site, it was called as Agile Coach Toolkit. At the time of putting in the paper, I felt that was more relevant, and we are talking few tools or few techniques, and we zip through that. Over a period of time, I've been working with, uh, as a consulting person, been working with a uh, company, and then there were a lot of other thoughts which came in, and I thought it would be a more uh, meaningful blend if I put in fluency because some of the aspects of fluency was drove in into the thinking at least. Uh, we wanted to drive some of it. And instead of calling it as tools, let's look at it as techniques, which is much more relevant. And hence I went and changed and few, tweaked a few things. But still, whatever tools that I mentioned in the paper, which that still will be covered, right? So me bad. Um, if somebody has to shoot me down, please go ahead with that. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. How many of you are coaches here? Coach, consultant. How many of you are aspiring coaches who have done Scrum Master for some time and you are getting into that level almost there as a coach? Right? Wonderful. Okay. So what are the key issues that you see as a coach? Just to get an understanding. Any, what do you see as a key issue? Sorry? You are a troublemaker. That actually is true, right? I mean, when you go in, you want to disrupt something which is not there and then bring some sense to it. Uh, it's okay. As long as you don't leave them shattered and come back. Cultural aspect, how so? For a you know, certain period of time, maybe a couple of years or even more than that. Then to immediately come and try to, you know, first the observing part becomes extremely important before you, you know, really try to bring any kind of change. Okay. And that resistance to change from working in a certain, you know, style. I've seen organizations where, uh, working with an American organization where that kind of style was working for over 10.